just focus on, on the tasting and then I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what happened <laughs> and how we manage this kind of uh, uh, yeah, challenging year is a subtle year. <laughs> <laughs> but so just to give you an idea, it rains about 100 average, 100 millimeters per month, yeah. uh, a little less. And so we should have had uh, like 300 millimeters of rain mm. during those three months. And we had barely 15 millimeters, mm. so no rain. So were there any young vines or um, you know, vines that were too stressed? And, and Not only the young vines. Not only the even the older vines can find yeah. Know, so it didn't water really, it down. didn't really stop the maturity. But it sounds like everything mm -hmm. you just said that it would be impossible to have phenolic right. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, but we did. Okay. No water. No, no, and cool we did. summer. We did because uh, uh, once again it was not a drought. It was really a lack of water. So uh, once again the person didn't try to stop. Okay. So we were hit on the south of the property. Mm -hmm. Uh, How many uh, not so, I mean, it's really not even 15% of the property. So it's okay. between seven and <laughs> seven mm -hmm. and nine hectares. Hopefully, this part of the property is not planted. We are replanting it. Oh. So it hit a part of the Merlot, yes. two plots of Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, which are actually next to uh, La Font Rocher. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then, okay, we were hit here around the chateau, but very like. So when the, the really strong hail ears, uh, mm -hmm. hits, is that vine pretty much dead? Do you have to replant, or does oh it no, actually survive? It depends. It depends. How about this Here, time? No, this time no. Oh. Because the wood were hit, right. but uh, so it, it it was badly hit, so that um, I mean nothing could happen really to the, the to the grapes. Mm -hmm. You know, it couldn't the flood couldn't grow. I mean, the the the, the mm -hmm. la sève. Uh, couldn't go to uh, to feed the grapes, but the wood are not so badly hit that uh, the, the vine is going to suffer next year. It's no, so uh, the vineyard is safe, really safe. Yeah, yeah, safe. But some plots had to be harvested. We waited until the fifth of September, so we harvested the first. Okay, obviously the Cabernet Sauvignon, the very few. Uh, um, Cabernet Sauvignon we have down there, mm -hmm. and then uh, the Merlot that were hit. But uh, then we, we stopped, mm -hmm. and we waited for the uh, majority. Especially the way we start tasting are very velvety, mm -hmm. uh, like soyeux, as we say supple. in French. Mm -hmm. S exactly, and supple. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then you have this, uh, because we were fearing you know, this point, but we really have this density. Mm -hmm. It's not a very heavy, you know, it's not a, a big wine in 2011. But the balance, I think, is very well respected. Mm -hmm. And we have the, the, this, uh, the, 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 the middle of the mouth is really full. Yes. Uh, and, and, very, and, and the end uh, is very long and very precise on the same track. Obviously, you have the nine, which is very voluptuous, very generous. You know, yes. ripeness you have on the old nine is so <laughs> different. Yes. And then the ten, you have the density of the, uh, the, 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 the depth. Of the but you also had the flavors to go and along and with exactly. it. Exactly. This and one, do you think you have as many, as many flavors as the as the tannins and the density requires? Oh, I think so. Yeah. 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 And even the IPT is, uh, is the same as last year, actually. Oh. Seventy-eight as last year. And then I think in terms of aromatics, it's more open. Mm -hmm. The 2011 is more open mm -hmm. than was the 2010 mm -hmm. last year. Because when we tasted the 2010 in April, when we presented it, really the 2010 was very closed. Remember, yes. they were very up. Now they are opening. Yes. But I don't think they are opening uh, in the same way as the 2011 because we don't have the same structure. Yes. So it's a bit lighter. We have 1% alcohol less than last year. Mm -hmm. And all the, the balance of all the elements mm -hmm. are linked together. Sure. So we... Um, so we have some tannins, we have some density of tannins, mm -hmm. but they, are, uh, they don't have the same quality as last year. Yeah. They are much more approachable, I think, mm -hmm. in this one. It's mm -hmm. much more approachable than the 2010. Obviously, it's not the same world. We are not in the same world. <laughs> but aromatically speaking, I think it's, very, it's there, yes. really. It's very... Uh,